good morning students today we will discuss about one activity previous class we will discuss about the breathing rate you know just you remember one second you know what is the meaning of the breathing rate the number of time a person breathe in minutes is termed as the breathing rate so ஒரு நிமிஷத்துக்கு ஒரு பர்சன் எவ்வளோ டைம் ப்ரீத் பண்ணுறாருங்கிறது தான் ப்ரீத்திங் ரேட் இஸ் இன் இட் ஸோ த ப்ரீத்திங் ரேட் மே பி டிஃப்ரெண்ட் ஃப்ரம் ஒன் ஆக்டிவிட்டி டு அனதர் ஆக்டிவிட்டி யூனோ ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் வென் எவர் யூ வில் ஃபினிஷ் நவர் த ரன்னிங் அண்ட் வாக்கிங் அண்ட் த ஃபிசிக்கல் எக்ஸசைஸ் ஸோ தட் டைம் டெஃபினெட்லி யுவர் ப்ரீத்திங் ரேட் வில் பி இன்க்ரீஸ் you know the normal or rest time you know your breathing rate degrees so the breathing rate will be different from the one activity to another activity so this is one of the activity activity 10.2 generally we are not aware that we are breathing however if you are try to you count your breathing rate of breathing so this is uh, nothing but Uh, just to find out you know what the breathing rate or nimshathukku evlo time breathe pannengiradha nama call kandupidikiradha in the activity breathe in and out normally you know breathe in and out is normally find out how many times we breathe in and breathe in a minutes so normal breathing rate vandu எப்படி இருக்குன்னா த இன் அண்ட் அவுட் ஓகேவா அது நார்மலாக தான் இருக்கும் மேபி டிட் யூ இன்ஹேல் த சேம் நம்பர் ஆஃப் டைம் அஸ் யூ எக்ஸ்கேல் ஸோ டிட் யூ இன்ஹேல் த சேம் டைம் ஆஃப் டைம் அஸ் யூ எக்ஸ்கேல்ட் யூனோ வென் வென் எவர் யூ இன்ஹேல் யூனோ இன்ஹேல் மீன்ட் வாட் டேக்கிங் தட் ஆக்சிஜன் ஓகே இன்ஹேல் தட் ஆக்சிஜன் Breathe out a minute. So, it will be the same as you exhale. Did you inhale the same number of time as you exhale? Now, count your breathing rate, minute of breath and minutes. So, now you count. One minute, you will be able to count the same number of time as you exhale. That is the same time as you exhale. Just you count it. So, after brisk walk and after running, you know, you know when you do this kind of activity you know brisk walk and after running then or brisk on or walking poite vandadukaparamo plus running mudichadukaparamo nee breathing rate ta count pannu record your breathing rate as soon as you finish and also after complete rest tabulate your finding and compare your breathing rate under different conditions with those who are classmates so just you compare in over the classmates so this is one of the activity the table the 10.1 the changes in breathing rate under the different conditions so first the first uh, you know uh, complete this table and send to me so the name the classmates so first column write in your friends name and just you count that the breathing rate you know the normal time and after a brisk walk for 10 minutes and after running first at 100 meters and rest time so they are all given the four column you know the uh, first column you fill in with the friend's name and second column you know the normal time you just you count with the breathing rate and third column after br- brisk walk in 10 minutes okay then fill the column and after running first in 100 meters and rest time okay well, that is a very easy activity just you try to write and fill it and on our the average and adult human beings at rest breathe in and out 15 to 80 times in the minutes this is a very important one more question underline so the normally the adult human being during the rest time the breathing rate is 15 to 18 time in the minutes next during the heavy exercise the breathing rate can be increased so you can just keep your mind whenever you do some the physical activities 
so definitely during that time your breathing rate almost increase you know and that normal position your breathing rate will be decrease and uh, not decrease that is in normal position and whenever you have do the physical exercise during this time the breathing rate can increase up to 25 times in minutes while we exercise not only do we are breathing fast we also take deep breath and this inhale more oxygen so during this uh, you know the breathing rate process you know so the main point the inhale and exhale process only you know the inhale and exhale process you know what is the meaning of inhale the inhale means we are taking that oxygen and exhale means release that carbon dioxide so that process is called that breathing and supply to our cells it speed up the breakdown of food and more energy is released you know another important fact you know already you heard that word energy you know so where will get energy the energy get from food source only you know so what is the main of main function of energy you know you have do the uh, different activities without the energy we can't do any work okay va so it speed up the breakdown of food and more energy is released you know whenever you get the food item so then only the food item is break down in converted into energy does this explain why do we feel hungry after the physical activity so this is a good question you know whenever you do the physical activities or you know what the pt period you know after you feel uh, so hungry you know what is the main reason energy loss because your food is break down okay food is break down so that's why you will get energy from food source so now what will happen whenever you do physical activities how do you feel you feel so hungry because of energy loss so how will you balance your energy so just you drink some the glucose or lemon juice or you take the some food item okay well so then only we will get the energy when you feel drowsy does your breathing rate slow down does your breath receive is a sufficient oxygen you know when you feel drowsy so drowsy means you feel some uh, un inconvenient drowsy does your breathing rate slow down does your body receive sufficient oxygen so definitely during that time your body not receive that uh, sufficient oxygen okay was well, sufficient mean the pozumana alavu oxygen irukuma nu kekkara it is not possible next activity 10.3 you know so see the figure the variation in the breathing rate during the different activities you know see the one boy sleeping and one lady washing the cloth and one boy studying and one boy doing the machine work and one grandma one grandpa walking and one girl is running so the different people they are doing the different kinds of activity you know the definitely the breathing rate will be different from one activity to another activity see for example you know uh, one boy sleeping you know so definitely during that time the breathing rate in the normal position only and whenever so some people see the gail and one mansion man you know so they are doing the physical activity so they are doing the heavy hard work so that time what will happen the breathing rate will be increase so the breathing rate may be different from one activity to another activity and can you say in which activity the rate of breathing will be slowest and in which will be fastest you know see which is the uh, slowest breathing rate you know the see the two figure you know one by sleeping and one boy steading so this is the normal breathing rate only and which is the fastest breathing rate like that uh, one girl uh, running you know and the one lady is washed the cloth 
and one grandpa walking and one man is doing that hands and work so there four figure so definitely the breathing rate may be increased or fast assign the number of the picture in the order to increase rate breathing according to your experience so definitely you can easy to find out so which kind of activity we needed the more energy also that only the breathing rate also will be increased from the one one activity to another activity okay okay thank you students